Okay, this is 360 Video Player version 0 0.3, and it is a video player and also a video selection UI for VR that lets you play 360 videos, both monoscopic and stereoscopic videos. So it has a real nice video selection UI that's real interactive. The UI is rotating, uh, the background image is panning, it has a nice gloss layer on there. And it even has a title, a date, and a description text. You'll notice the description text doesn't show on the other video walls until you look at it. Then that description text pops up. Um, but you'll see that this is a monoscopic video, and this one is a stereoscopic video. Now, for the purposes of this demo and making a small Unity package, there's just two video files. Uh, but of course, normally this would be six, you know, six different videos or maybe three. You can configure how many you want. But uh, so here, if I click on one, then it goes ahead and starts playing that video. This one is a stereoscopic video. Now, you'll notice, uh, for example, if you look at the shadows um, that the uh, it went to the next video. But if you look at the shadows, you'll notice that it's rendering different content to the left and the right eye. Now it's only using one sphere to do that. It's using special VRI shaders and you can look at our VRI shaders pack um, for more information about that. But the stereoscopic shader from that pack is included in this of course because we're, we're playing stereoscopic 360 video. Now I have the full, um, this one's monoscopic. This is a monoscopic video, so you should see the same exact image in the left or the right eye. Um, but we get this nice selection UI. There's a couple different ways to bring it up. You can set it up so that it opens when you gaze down, or it opens up when you just click. So um, I have it right now set to open up when you click, and when I look away, that menu closes. But of course, I get the previous, the next button. Uh, we have pause, so we can pause at any time. And there's also that time scrubber. Um, we can scrub through the scrub through the video. And then there's this icon here, which of course is the icon to take us back into the video wall, where we can you know, at that point pick a different video. And uh, we have 360 video controls, 360 video player, and a nice UI for selection. Now this works with the easy movie texture asset from the asset store and it also works with unity 5.6 video player component so let's jump into unity for just a quick minute and see how easy it is to use this pack so here we are in unity let's take a quick look at how this is set up there's the video wall and the video wall script all you do here is set up how many panels you want to use um, currently it supports up to six and for each one of those, you can configure the video information. For example, the video file name and whether it's a monoscopic or a stereoscopic video. And then if you look at the media player controller, you can choose your video player type, whether you want to use Easy Movie Texture or Unity Movie Player. Um, Unity Movie Player is available in Unity 5.6. And for me, I've imported Easy Movie Texture from the asset store into my project. And so that becomes available here. You if you're using Unity 5.6 uh, and later, this option will show up. And before that, you're gonna have to use Easy Movie Texture since uh, Unity Movie Player was not available until 5.6. I still advise to use Easy Movie Texture because it's more performant and it has less bugs than the Unity Movie Player does. You can select whether you wanna play a single video or multiple videos. Um, if you play a single video, there is no next or previous buttons. Uh, there's just a play or a pause button. And then, you know, for each one of those, you get the same options. You need to set up your video file name and whether it's a stereoscopic or a monoscopic video. And then you can pretty much just press play. And here we'll see that we've got the uh, video wall set up. So it'll play those videos and... I actually set single video mode so the uh, it only has a play pause button that doesn't make a lot of sense when you're using a, a video wall so I'm also going to set the video playlist to zero this is not important when you're using the video wall because uh, the video playlist comes from here 
So anyways, we've got that set up. We're going to hit play and we'll see now we go into our video and we have all of our options set up. There's also a demo scene for a um, player only and this is a scene that does not have the video wall in it. So stay tuned for the next video. It's the tutorial. It's going to cover how to use everything and get into the documentation and go through all of that with you. So thanks for checking out the video. See you in the next one.